Hi all, uh, welcome to another uh, video from Food is Good channel. Today we bring you another uh, unique dish, I would say. It's a full chicken dum biryani. Full chicken dum biryani. So there are some videos on YouTube about it, but they are more of frying the chicken first and then uh, putting it on the rice and everything. What we are going to do here is we are going to have the raw chicken, apply the masala and then put on the rice, raw rice and then cook together on them. That's the Hyderabadi way of doing it. So come over and let me show you what are the ingredients we used to need. So first one is a hunkar. So we have this bag which we specially use to prepare our hunkar. If you want to get more info, I will leave the information of, of this bag on Amazon. And don't worry, I am not an affiliate marketer. I am not going to benefit from it. But just for an information perspective, I can provide you or if you do not have that you can use the muslin cloth if you have at your house and you can use that to prepare the hunkar we have the mustard oil it gives that edge to that uh, uh, mutton and to the whole dish if you do not have mustard oil no need to worry you can use any other oil we have the star another the full chicken whole chicken what we're going to do we're going to put slices on it and then apply the masala to it and then keep it overnight keep it overnight then we have some coriander and mint we are going to uh, slice it into small pieces and then apply it to the chicken i have the chicken masala this is a shortcut that i use um, because it has a lot of the masalas that I need for putting into the biryani. So this is the Eastern chicken masala. I would certainly recommend it. We love eating anything that is Eastern, um, made by Eastern. So I would recommend that. If you do not have that, please use the masalas, regular masalas that you have in your household. And then some fried onions that we're going to put, fried onions and salt. So what we're going to do first now is we're going to Take the hunker, put it in a bowl and start prepping the masala. Okay guys, so we have put the hunker in it. Look at the thickness of it. This is how it should be. That's the best way to prep the masala. And it's around 200 grams or so. And that uh, you can use. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting in things. So just uh, mix it up a little bit. Just mix it up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is first we'll put the oil. So around two tablespoons of mustard oil should be good. As I said, it gives that edge. And then I'll take the masala. So this chicken masala depends on how much you want. I usually go for two tablespoons again because then we do not want too much of masala to come. So let me put. So this is around two tablespoons or let me put one more tablespoon it's actually a very good masala so this is around three tablespoons that we can put then we we'll put some salt salt is important because the masala does not have too much of salt so as per your taste you should be putting the salt and then we'll put some fried onions in it around two tablespoons again or you can put a little bit more it's always it always gives that good aroma to it and then later on we'll add the coriander and the mint so let's now go ahead and mix this let's make this mixture now. So guys, another thing that we need to add is the mixture of mint and the coriander. One thing I forgot, you can even add some green chilies. So two or three green chilies into it. Let's chop it into fine pieces. We'll put it in our mixture, mix it, and then we'll apply it to our chicken. So we have chopped the coriander, the green chilies, and the mint now. It's ready to be put. But before we do that, let's add another ingredient that I was not mentioned earlier, and that is ginger garlic paste around uh, one, two tablespoons should be good again to give that oomph to the plate okay and then we're going to add this mix so let me first add it and 
and now let's mix it all well again so basically what you have to do guys is prepare this masala outside and then apply it to the chicken so guys you can see this mixture is pretty much yellow and white and it's not that red if you want it red you can add paprika powder and it will turn red but uh, since my masala all all uh, already had all all of the masalas i'm not going to add any extra masala and then now we're going to apply this to chicken our mixture is ready mixture is ready so now we're going to open the bowl what i'm going to do first is make slits into the chicken so i'll pick up the chicken and start making proper slits in it so that the masala can go in so wherever you want to as per your preference as per your choice however you want to do it but make do make some slits so that the masala goes deep into it see just turn it over i've already put some oil on it This is how you're going to make it wherever you can. So that should be good enough. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the masala. Hold on, let me put this knife into the sink. And now take the masala and by hand you can apply again as if you are using hand. Please ensure they are clean before you use anything with hand. So now let's start applying the masala to the chicken. In all the slits that you have come up with, go in deep and apply it well. It has this effect only when you are doing it with hand. Do not worry about being stingy. Apply it well. Because when we make the biryani, all this masala will become part of the biryani. So this way, let's go ahead and apply the masala to the whole chicken. So guys, we have marinated the chicken with that mix. And now most important aspect keep it aside for at least 12 hours to get maximum effect or massive maximum impact from this dish so at least overnight or at least 12 hours we'll keep it aside and then we'll go come come again prep the rice and then go about making this biryani okay guys so it's been more than uh, 12 hours that we have kept our chicken so it's fully marinated now now the next step on to this journey is prepping the rice so we have taken around uh, uh, rice for six person uh, because the dish that we are making can be easily had by four to six people at a time so we have taken six uh, uh, six cups of rice and then what we're going to do is we are going to add the uh, uh, what do we say the masalas to it so the first one is the bay leaf, then we have the cinnamon stick, then we have the biryani fool, we have javitri, we have star anise which we have broken it up, black cardamom around 3, green cardamom around 3, peppercorns few of them and 3 to 4 cloves. What we are going to do, we are going to add it to the rice. The next step, you are going to add a lot of salt to the rice around two tablespoon or maybe three is good and then we are going to put water into this and keep the rice submerged in water for around at least two hours it is said usually 30 minutes is good but in my experience the longer that you keep it the more better it turns out to be so we're just mixing it a little bit lightly so that it does not break but what this does is it makes the water salty and then it has the proper effect on the rice 
So now I have mixed it well and I am going to keep it aside for at least 2 hours. So see you guys after 2 hours when we will start making the final biryani. Okay guys, so now it's time to start boiling the rice. We're not going to boil the rice for too much amount of time because we have a big chicken to cook. So we'll boil it for some amount of time, then put it in the bowl where the chicken is kept and then we will get onto the biryani. Okay guys, so I'm starting the gas now. We'll just start it and cook it on the high flame. And in another 5 minutes, we'll start transferring the rice into the chicken bowl. Okay guys, so our rice has been boiling. So it's now 30% cooked and this is the time we are going to put in. As we are going to keep it for on the dam for a longer period of time. So we are taking it out earlier. So before I put the rice in, let me put a cup of water and a cup of water to this mix. And then I'll start adding the the rice onto this so let's go ahead and add the rice to this so spread it around as much as you can so spread it around as much as you can and see if you can get the whole spices also along with that so if they do not go waste okay guys so we have put all the rice into it time to put some kesar And then we are going to put a generous dose of ghee on the top. No matter if it is in solid form, just put it on the rice and then after putting ghee we are now going to top it off with onions the dry onions that we have we want to top it off with this dry onions so i'm now going to cover it and then we're going to start the gas and prep the biryani So we have started the gas so the idea how you should go about it and usually I go about it is first 10 minutes cook on high flame and then after 10 minutes reduce it to low flame and another do thing I do is I put a my main biryani ball on a thick pan that you see because my biryani ball has a thin uh, thin metal base so if I keep it on for long it might burn with the biryani so I usually put this uh, a pan below it it is thick plated and that way the biryani gets evenly cooked now i'm going to cover the biryani with this foil and properly close it and then put something heavy on the top so this reduces the pressure or the air moving out so ensure everything is tight in place and then now we are going to cook this for 50 minutes 5 0 minutes first 10 minutes on high flame and the next 40 minutes on low flame usually if you are just making biryani i usually keep it only for 40 minutes 10 minutes again on high flame and 30 minutes on low flame but since we have a big chicken to cook today i have i have kept it at a, for a longer period of time that is 50 minutes so see you guys in another 50 minutes 
so while the biryani is getting ready we need to get some other um, side uh, things ready for it the first one is boiled eggs so i'm just keeping the boiled eggs now to boil and now i'm going to get ready or prepare the onions so we're going to cut the onions in slices and mix it with vinegar and then keep it in fridge for 30 minutes or so so that the vinegar gets completely soaked into the onion okay guys so i've cut the onions into slices now i'm going to use the vinegar as you can see and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour two caps of vinegar into this one and that should be good so now we are going to mix it well and then keep it aside in fridge believe me guys a little bit cold onions go very well with the biryani okay guys so the eggs have boiled now and we are just going to put some masala on to top of it some red a mix of red chili powder salt you can add on top of it and some pepper we have enough salt go on it since it is white you will not be able to see it but we have added black pepper salt and red chili and we'll just move it around in the middle. and it is ready so we have the onions ready we have the boiled egg ready now we're just waiting for biryani it's already 35 minutes and in another 15 minutes it should be ready okay guys so it's been 50 minutes we kept it aside again for five minutes just giving it time to relax Ooh, that was a nice sound because of the pressure and now we have to pick it up wow look at the steam coming out and the rice has been cooked perfectly let's see how the chicken has come about the chicken there is the chicken and it looks beautiful so you can see the chicken also has been cooked well so we now have accompaniments with it onions boiled eggs and not to forget the green chutney so we're going to now enjoy our biryani and I hope you guys liked the way that we cooked it. Okay. Okay guys, so hope you liked what you saw today and the way that we made biryani. So if you like, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell icon and receive all notifications for the future video, this kind of, future, this kind of videos that we are going to post in the future. Thank you all.